Yeah, so I'm Natalia and I'm uh, from Chaos Architects. We are a growing startup and we are disrupting the way that we plan our cities. So today we are going to explain a little bit more about that and why we are doing this. And uh, we start with the premise that um, our cities are increasing and by 2020, and this is a finished statistic, so we imagine that everyone would actually move to Helsinki, everyone in Finland, and start living here. So how would that look like and what kind of services should be actually like be offering to everyone? So we start with this premise and this is not happening only in Finland, but it's happening all over the world. Like people are moving to cities and then we're becoming much more technological and, and so on. But I really doubt that we are becoming smarter. So we start with this and if you really think about when we speak about the smart city, we normally uh, uh, think about robot cars or sensors or quality of air and so on. And if we go further, then we understand that this is IoT. So there's still ingredients missing in the smart city platform or ecosystem. And one thing and the most important that we think and why we work for it's people. So we are still missing people in the smart city equation and people are going to play a key role in the future. And this is not something also that we believe or we say, but actually studies, for example, this one like Frost and Sullivan, has been already analyzing that there's a lot of trends coming into the smart city. So most of them we, we can see there are based on security, energy, transport, um, infrastructure, and so on. And this is an industry, the smart city, of $1.5 trillion. So we are speaking about a huge industry that still has a lot of potential. Now, there's another challenge here, and everybody and every different area of the smart city is producing different kind of data. So we're speaking about when we collect sensors and we, we, we understand that, okay, through the day we have this amount of uh, data, so many cars or the air quality is like that and so on, but we are not communicating, so we are working in silos. And I want you to guess, like, what's the percentage and what is, like, uh, the missing factor there in the smart city. Any guess? I know it's morning, but come on. <laughs> it, it's people, and it's the uh, highest trending factor here, and it's with 21%, like, in the future we're going to have this. But then again, like, when we speak about people, like, what do we actually mean by that? Like, when people are going to be leading the smart city and so on, and governance is going to be the key factor and so on, I think it goes much more ahead than only, you know, like, voting or democracy or so on. And I think it's just, like, understanding our behavior and understanding what kind of things we like uh, as a community, as a society and so on. Um, I think that we would also especially now that, for example, with Facebook that is releasing data and so on, we tend to think that, okay, my data is going to be targeted so I can receive targeted advertisement. But I think that it goes also further. And we can also know, like, the kind of things you like and how you move in the city. And if you like just strolling through a park, if you like sitting in a terrace and so on. So these are things that can actually enable us to build much better cities. So this is where we come in. And what we do at Chaos is that we're building a platform that is powered by, by AI and we collect all these kind of data. So I'm going to show you these. Uh, we are going to present or we are going to develop our mission in this world is actually to build a platform, the smart city platform, powered through citizen engagement. Now this is a bit technical, but this is our solution from an end to end. And what we thought of it, and of course, like we speak about the smart city and it's really complex to understand, okay, where do we start? And do we want to buy the whole cake? And like, how do we actually make it profitable? Or like these kind of things. This is what you think when you're in a startup. And for us, it was uh, kind of a, after a long process of uh, validation and so on, we understood that, okay, we need to be a data company. So what we did is that we started segmenting this and what we need here and what we need to build a platform is actually different kind of data. So one of that comes from citizens. So we created an app for you. It's free to download. You can go ahead and check it in your phones while I'm presenting here. Um, but then again, this is Happy City. It's called Happy City and then you provide urban ideas and you can just like go ahead, 
like be walking around and then take a photo and like send it through the cloud. We also uh, through Happy City collect demographics. So what kind of transport you like, uh, where do you live and so on, not address, but like what kind of a building or detached house or so on. So this is creating a backend for us and then we integrate that into our platform, into our cloud system. We also collect open data. So uh, Helsinki right now has a lot of open data after or before Helsinki, New York is one of the most, uh, the cities that are, is opening most of the data right now. And when we speak about these, we open about where parking spaces are located, uh, where services are located, about real estate, about people, and so on, demographics. So this is the kind of data that we collect. And then, of course, like there's a lot of startups and a lot of other companies that are also working with data. So we also partner up with them. And in here, we're speaking about property management or real estate, uh, prices, stakeholders, and so on. So when we put all these data together, we actually have soft facts that come from people and then also hard facts that just come from demographics and data. And then we match them, we analyze them, and then we provide dashboards that have already like uh, analyzed information for you, for anyone to use. Uh, we work mostly with developers and cities, but of course, like this could be useful for uh, to improve a shopping mall area or um, to improve an airport and so on. Uh, the other thing that we actually do, and because we want to be transparent, it's also like opening APIs. So um, this is also part of our business model. We open APIs for other kind of companies. So basically what we offer right now, it's a citizen engagement uh, or citizen interface, uh, two-way communication that you can do actually uh, communicate through our dashboards, through Happy City and ping users and so on, then dashboards. And then what is coming uh, in the future also is this, what I just uh, was speaking about, is artificial intelligence. And what we can do with that is actually analyze the patterns that are happening with the data right now and then forecast how cities are going to be looking. And then I'll explain a bit more. And also like the opening of APIs come later for us. Now, Happy City is our citizen interface. Uh, what you do is like you actually walk by you feel that, okay, I want a bike lane here, or uh, I want to um, create like a house here or a daycare or so on. And then you just take a photo, you use CD tags that we have there, and then you can uh, have a description, like create a title, share, like, and so on. And every time you do this, you create a hotspot. That means that everybody working by like can actually receive information that, okay, there's an idea here. So we also geofence areas. That means that when you enter an area that is geofence, you can also get pings through the app, like, hey, give ideas, for example, Kalasatama or like, the city center. Um, and then also we ping stakeholders. So let's say that you walk into uh, a developing area like Yad Kasari, and then you give an idea there. So stakeholders are ping live and say, okay, someone is giving an idea in this uh, uh, spot. So that's also useful information. And we are trying to make this easier for everyone. And what normally we have here, uh, especially in the Nordic countries, is that when we engage people here, and this is part of the reason for Happy City to exist, is that you normally go to a panel discussion, or you go to a workshop and you use post-its, and then, or you uh, answer a survey through the website of City of Helsinki, for example, and then you just like figure out or expect that your idea is going to be used. And I think that in this uh, era, we have to be much more mobile and much more like uh, live. So when we give an idea, we also want to know if we are actually giving a good idea or if someone is reading that or if they're going to use it. So we also provide or and are very transparent. So we don't ensure that your ideas are going to be built, but we ensure that the right people is going to read them. And the, the basic thing of this is that it's crowdsourcing. So if everybody, let's say that you give a wonderful idea and then 2,000 people voted for that and start pushing that idea through, then that also means that we're starting to build cities from bottom up. So not, no longer only urban planners, architects, or politicians are deciding the uh, uh, future of the city, but actually people can just engage and move forward things that they need in the city. Right now we are collecting also uh, ideas from outdoor, indoor, and other kind of ideas. And the most important part of this is that we actually want to uh, you to misuse the app and start giving also ideas on how to improve your city because that's where you live. So we got a 
an idea there that, okay, can we find people to also walk dogs here, like in the startup ecosystem? So um, people start using these to communicate. And one thing that we have found also uh, with the public that we have been uh, working with with this app is that they actually want to uh, start building um, relationships with people that they don't know. So if you think about it, social media is about people that you know. For example, Facebook, you add friends, or LinkedIn, you add a networker, and so on. But what if you start making friends out of people who actually have the same interests as you and the same kind of demographics? So that's different. And this is something that comes also from our users and say, okay, I can actually know like how this is like gonna go, and like I like this person that is also commenting here in my idea and so on. So we also provide this information for you, so you can start, you know, partnering up and finding new friends. Now, these are some of the ideas that we have been getting um, through Happy City, and it could be actually like really fun. There's one that put like a zebra there because we needed zebra crossings, so that's fun. Uh, but then also some some that are very practical. For example, there's an idea in New York that they needed more trash bins in uh, uh, was it. Um, Oh, I forgot now what was a center place where all the screens are. Yes, thank you. And uh, and then also, for example, when you have snow, and uh, here in Finland we clean quite quickly, but what if we don't? Then someone can actually say, it, okay, we need to clean this street here. So these are the kind of ideas that we get. And then the interesting part of this also, it's because, okay, we're speaking about people and everything is like love and community and so on. But I think also that we should be pragmatic about this and we should actually collect all this data and analyze it. So what we offer to our customers is these kind of dashboards where we break down the ideas that we're getting. So we know what kind of ideas we are like what uh, getting and the categories that people are using, example, housing, transport, placemaking, and so on. And then also what kind of ideas are voted uh, through the day also, what kind of ideas do they get? For example, maybe we get transport ideas when people are commuting. So that means like at nine and at five. Uh, and this gives us more information to understand how cities should be built as well. So we also get trending profiles and so on. And we work in data sets. So this is just a data set of citizen engagement, but we can actually work in sets of uh, sustainability and so on. Like for example, or typology for housing and so on. Uh, again, that we communicate, so you can also build projects through the dashboard and then communicate through Happy City and poll your citizens and understand what kind of uh, citizens are voting for these kind of ideas. And then also, uh, and this is uh, something that gets me excited, is that um, when we speak about artificial intelligence, we need to understand first, like how the patterns are occurring and also start uh, um, abstracting data. So for example, we need to know uh, where people are walking slower or faster. And then also what is the price of certain apartments uh, in this zone or in this zone. And when we start understanding that and homogenizing the data, then we start recognizing what the part pattern is and we can forecast. So that's the first thing that we can do. And we can do this as humans right now because sometimes we do manual reports. But then what if the machine starts taking a decision that the city should be built there? Because then you will not create segregation or then you will create affordable housing. So then when the machine starts doing this, then that's what we mean by artificial intelligence and where we want to come also. Now, uh, we are also working with other kind of partners and startups. So these are this is uh, part of uh, the technologies that we're including Happy City. So what I was meaning before, when you walk by a hotspot, then you get this, uh, hey, here's an idea, like a notification. And also in the future, you're able to put a, a trash bin or a tree or a bike lane and so on through Happy City using augmented reality. So that's uh, an example of how you would use it. This is another partner also that we're working with. And then I want to also, uh, just to finish with this, is that I tell you how we actually work with cities because uh, we understand that we are a platform, we are complex, and there's a lot of things that we can do. But for example, with the city of Helsinki that has different kind of departments, we can actually help in culture and building housing and environment and so on. And we use citizen engagement and dashboards for that. But for example, let's say that the city wants to administrate better and instead of 
building panels and sending letters to your home. They use Happy City, so we can also work with that. And also, what if Maps or Transport, HOASAL or whomever, wants to actually get more data from us, so we will open APIs with them. So we are a platform where everybody starts like to uh, interact with. So we are um, Chaos Architects. I invite you uh, later to our workshop. We're going to be speaking more about Happy City and follow us in social media. We are posting there actively. So, and if you want a proposal from our side, like write to us. Thank you.